to Dynasty Wrestling World. The show before the epic crossover. We're in Los Angeles. Wait a minute. We were going to get into our hardcore title match, but... Between Razorblade and Haku, but... I don't think this is scheduled. I don't know. He's supposed to be in the party shot ladder match. What's your boy doing here? We're supposed to have an epic show tonight. Yamamoto challenges the new Global Japan Universal Champion Johnny Adrian who beat Drew Boyd last week to win the title. What does Drew Boyd want here tonight? I don't want to take up too much time. But there's shit I've got to get off my chest. Not to get political or anything. But I like the locker room. Almost everyone in there have my respect. Well, that's the thing. Almost everyone. I've been in this damn business for about two decades already. I know the ins and outs of the wrestling world. And know where to give my fucking respect. Not to give any names. Half the indolent people in the locker room who don't give two shits about their jobs. But just come perform with little to no effort. RJ Smith. Being one of the main ones. Guy doesn't put his all into wrestling and rarely contributes anything unless it's called for like some damn carnival. Thinks he's bigger. Thinks he's a top guy. When was the last time he was treated as such? Here's the thing. His lazy ass needs to put all his motivation in wrestling. Mostly needs to show up when we're having practice sessions in the performance centers when we're not running a goddamn show. Unless he gets it through his dull head of his. He needs to know this isn't a carnival and put more effort into wrestling. We all put our bodies on the line. This shit ain't fake. And if he doesn't understand that, then he needs to walk out of this business. I don't give a shit about anyone else's booking at all. I only care whenever someone's career is treated with some care and respect. If someone's wrestling career in any company gets treated with disrespect, then cool, they probably deserve it. This company is no different. It's all about the reputation you have, not only to this company, but for others in the locker room. If you go around being an asshole with no re reason attached as to why you're being a dick, to others, then you will be expected to have your career be treated with disrespect in this company. I'm not calling shots to this particular asshole. But if you see someone with a lot of losses, then you know why. Now that we're on the booking topic, though, my boss, Matthew Hilton, the world heavyweight champion. That's a fucking gatekeeper, don't you think? 
I've seen others rack up title reign after title reign. He'll gatekeep the world championship all because they were they were the boss in the bo either in the boss's pants or hold some amount of power that they have in a company. Matthew Hilton's no different. He can keep treating himself like a megastar that's undefeatable over and over again. Well, guess what? He's not. I've seen other wrestlers in this damn company who are more worthy of that championship for years already. Hell, even fucking needs it. That doesn't... That he doesn't book because it's only about his own damn career. Alex Saban, Gavin, though I hate him, he deserves it. Thomas deserved a longer run. Amaya deserved a longer run. Adam Batista deserved a longer run. Cameron Bash deserved a run. Due to him having a lot, a whole lot of power, there is no room for complaints in this company. And if you do have a complaint, he will try to email you a warning to non-disclose any information of how he books things. Fuck, even for his own booking in this company, sometimes to not disclose any information for how much power that he actually holds. Why am I saying all this? It's because you can try to deny it, but I'm the biggest draw in this company. My contract is worth more than everyone else's combined. Mostly. Alex Saban, my contract's more than his. No, it's not because of my family legacy, though that does have some contribution. It's really because of my own legacy and how much that I contribute to not only this company, but every other company that I was in as well. Matthew can't lose me because if he does, then some other company will pick me up and give me an even much higher or similar amount than of what he offers. So, are the roster done playing games? Because if they keep playing like toddlers, I'll walk out of this damn company. Not to brag, but I think I deserve a world title opportunity. Don't I, boss? Don't I? When was the last time I had a one-on-one -on -one title match for that belt? I'll tell you when. April. Oh, no, wait. March 2019 was my last one-on-one -on -one opportunity for that. As a matter of fact, it was my first opportunity for that. I'm done playing games. All right, now we can finally get into our world our hardcore title match.
Ponto Squiggle for the ball, Judas and Curse. And it's one of the Dynasty Hardcore Championship. Here's the first, the owner of LIW. One half of the insiders, Haku. And his opponent he is the Dynasty Hardcore Champion representing the Inferno, the Irish Razor, Razor Blade. Also walking out with the Twitch title. about to be on the line.
Your winner in 11 minutes, 44 seconds, and still Dynasty Hardcore Champion, Razor Blade. Man, a barbed wire death match against Aaron Wheeler tomorrow. That's to send the Twitch style against Aaron Wheeler tomorrow. Will Haku be out to reset for that tag match? We gotta get into our next match. <sighs> that was easy. Aaron Wheeler, see you tomorrow. Adam Batista, see you next week. <laughs> Congratulations, Johnny. <laughs> you won the Global Japan Universal Championship. Yeah, this moment is a moment to celebrate. Yeah, I think it is. But I will say that Drew was no joke. As much as I hate to admit it, I don't think I can beat his record so easily. Especially since I'm not only holding the Global Japan Universal Championship. I have to worry about everyone else on the OWW and LAW coming to my U.S. and Intercontinental Championships. But we are one step closer to our goal. If everything goes smoothly, we're all going to be dripping in gold. <laughs> Just don't disappoint me, boys. Oh, and Aaron, make sure you give Young A's hell. But right now, I have bigger fish to fry. Johnny Grant and Yamamoto. Yamamoto, I don't know why you showed up here interrupting my moment. But just so you know, I don't take kindly to that. As for you, Johnny Grant, it looks like you and me are going to see each other a lot more than I expected. But I guarantee you this. You're not going to take my titles away from me so easily. Because I plan to stay Johnny Three Belts for a long time. Women's action.
This punt is scheduled for and for the first. Akira Kiyoshi. And your opponent, the bouncer, Sarah Boy. Match underway. Jimmy Jones, Tom Terry, we're in Los Angeles. Another time to watch the backstage, definitely. Our main event, Johnny, Adrian, Defense, Kobe, Mandy, Brooks, Pelican, Yama, Moda. Back body drop.
Yeah, boy. Your winner in 15 minutes, 44 seconds, Sarah Boyd. The number one contender is tapped out. Layla Siren watched backstage. So Akira can lose. Time to get to our next contest. Hey, son. You know what baffles me? It's the fact that the kingdom thinks they're the greatest tag team in the history of this company. That is funny. We're two-time champs, but so are they. But let's face it, when was the last time they were relevant? The good point, son. The kingdom haven't been relevant in years. Years. You were then. This is now. The era of the grants has begun. And when I'm and by Sunday, I'm also going to be holding some singles gold. So, with that said, you want some kingdom? Come get it. Because we plan on keeping these.
Dynasty World Tag Team Championships for a long time. You know what baffles me? The fact that Nicholas Boyd thinks he stands a chance. But I don't want to talk about Nicholas real quick. I want to talk about Drew. Make some comments earlier tonight. Drew, you think you're smart. Two decades, you think you'd be wiser. Look around. Who else is worthy? I have beaten them all. I have proven that none of them are worthy. I have proven that no one else is worthy to hold this World Heavyweight Championship I hold over my shoulder. Not even you or your idiot son. I'm going to take my eyes off them real quick and focus on what's to come tomorrow. Me and Tony Everett, Haku and Angel Beretta, tag team match. Oh, Haku, you weren't even able to beat Razorblade earlier. What makes you think you're going to beat me and Tony Everett? And Angel Bretta, I've never been in the ring with you. Never have. Never wanted to. See as you're an idiot. All right? You're a loser, from what I know. I only fight winners, but I turn those winners into losers. Wouldn't surprise me if you were the one that took the fall for your team. you all tomorrow. And as for Nicholas, see you in a few weeks, buddy. Time for some tag team action. Now we don't know who the Lance brothers are going to face tonight. This card is going to call is a tag team match. Here it is in first. The team of Jaden and Justin Lance. The Lance Brothers. We saw them earlier congratulating Johnny Adrian. The opponents representing the Wolfpack, the team of Adam Shaw and Brian Slater, the powerhouse. Powerhouse are back. Powerhouse 
are about to power.
go winners in 23 minutes, 46 seconds. Powerhouse! What a match! I wouldn't give it five stars though. What a return for Powerhouse! Time to get to our next contest. So, I received a challenge from one Andrew Todd. For next week on Dynasty Wrestling World for my Junior Heavyweight Championship. Well, Andrew, knowing the run you've been on, I accept, because I'm not going to deny anyone a challenge. So that's not the kind of champion I am. See, I'll accept challenges if they're the right opponent. You are. The fans love you. I know the booker loves you. So, next week, Andrew, you get your shot. At the junior heavyweight title. Just come try and take it. So let's face it. Trying is the only thing you'll be able to do. Because you aren't walking out champion. Yo Grant. Grant. Let me get this straight. You think you're going to beat the best tag team in Dynasty history, Brayden Torres, Rob King. You think you're going to beat those two? You're out of your minds. You aren't going to walk out still champions. What makes you think that's going to happen? I get it. Cinderella story. Yeah, I've been there quite a few times. Here's the thing about that story, though, boys. It doesn't exist. Trust me. I've tried countless times to win the Dynasty World title. Haven't done it. So I gave up on the Cinderella story. And focused on being... That's what you two should be doing. Your Cinderella tag team is about to come to an end in a few weeks. In Memphis, your reign ends. Have fun while it lasts. We're time for our next contest, ladies and gentlemen. This contest skill of one fall introducing first rep first and take the rider guy the Viking Aaron Wheeler
and his opponent representing Party Delta, the life of the party, Jaden Wilson. Yeah. 
Your winner in 16 minutes, 24 seconds, Jaden Wilso. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He was fake and being hurt. He let Jaden pick up that win. And oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Choke slam on the stage. And there comes the rest of the... Oh! Party Delta! And they both get trampled by Aaron Wheeler. And oh! Aaron West thrown off the stage to the floor! Oh my god, he has Young Ace, the champion. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Crucifix bomb on the stage! Wheeler holds up the legacy title. As he walks away, he lost, but it looked like he was faking being hurt. We gotta get into our main event. Yamamoto challenges Johnny Adrian for the Global Japan Universal title. I can accept a lot of things, but I can't accept is my father being called a hypocrite. Rendering his promo invalid. And him being threatened with a suspension. Because Matthew Hilton, you can't handle the truth. Watch, when we got to Memphis... And I take that world heavyweight title from you. Are you going to attempt to suspend me? Because I know damn well I'm worthy. Do I think it's too early? Yes. Too good to be true? Also, yes. But god damn it, I'm giving it my all. See you next week for the contract signing in Philly, by the way. <laughs> Your hair's growing back. I know, it's about damn time. Anyway, don't think I don't know why you're here, Tony. We, we could probably shave that a bit. Up. Shut up about my hair. I know why you're here. You're trying to corrupt the minds of younger talent so you can turn on them. That's actually not why I'm here. I saw a talent in Jordan Rosa, so I took him under my wing. What's wrong with that? I'm not stupid. You're going to turn your back on him eventually. Because you're from OWW. I don't take too kindly. We don't take too kindly. The people from other companies being around these parts. Well, Matthew Hilton was the one that invited me. So I think that question, that statement is redundant. You don't know who you're messing with. I have a feeling I know exactly who I'm messing with. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, someone who can't win a belt. When was the last time you held something? Like 2020? Funny. Very funny. No, if you want to fight, we can do it. Right now? Want to head the ring right now? We can wrestle right now. Now, nah, you got a match tomorrow. 
You got a main event match tomorrow, so thinking next week, you and I will settle this. We'll settle in Philly. What a pussy. It's time for the main event. This contest scheduled for one fall is for the Dynasty Global Japan Universal Championship. Here is your first, the Menace Yamamoto. And his opponent, he is the Dynasty Global Japan Universal Champion, representing the Rider Dive, the Lone Wolf, Johnny Adrian.
Lester. Your winner in 10 minutes, 44 seconds, and still Dynasty Global Japan Universal Champion, Johnny Adrian. Johnny Adrian retains. Still Johnny three belts. But will he be Johnny three belts but after tomorrow? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here tonight. We'll see you all next week. Or we'll see you all tomorrow, actually.